Hey guys, it's Carrie Ann from Everything Mom. And Manix. And Manix. In the past, I've talked about a number of great solitaire games. But we're actually going to be here showing you how to play a, one of our new addictions, thanks to Manix, mm -hmm. <laughs> is the card game President. Uh, meant for three or more players. I think you can have up to eight players in yeah. one deck, but if you have nine or more players in the game, you have to incorporate a second yeah, deck. Yeah, you have two decks. And what makes it even perfect is we found this card deck of U.S. presidents from a drugstore in the U.S. Yeah, all the queens are first All leaves. the queens fitting for the game presidents. It's really simple to play in that it is building on numbers. Yeah. Everything is based on numbers. In the first game, uh, first round that you play, whoever has the three of spades will start off the game. First card down is the three of spades. Two threes. Wild, Twos are wild cards, so they can become any card except for a joker. So I'm putting down a three and a two. The two is a wild card, so I'm making it a three. And if you put two of the same cards on top of each other, since I'm putting two threes on top of two threes, it gets discarded and I get to go again. Single four. When you single six. Single six. And because I have a six, I burn this six and, and I you get, get to go again. Discarded. Dub jacks. I oh, put down yeah. two queens. Two kings, all right. Because so Jack, right? queen, king. <laughs> Jack, queen, king, it's a run. So this is discarded. And then each player that played one of these cards in the run gets to discard two cards. So suits don't really play a part in this game. Somebody plays a three, the next person in the turn has to play a three or higher. If a hand gets burned or discarded by you, then it is your turn again. And on passing, you are allowed to pass on your turn, even if you have a card in your hand that you can play, but say you don't want to play it on that turn. Uh, George W. Bush is at the top of that pile. Um, I'd like to burn this. The two joker cards enable you to burn anything that's played. That's a highly valuable card and there are only two of them. The one thing you should note is you cannot end your turn on a joker. So if you do have a joker in your hand, you have to make sure to incorporate it in your gameplay yeah. or else you will automatically be the last person, the bum, even if you're the first one to lose all your cards. If a person plays a single, a dub, which is two cards, a trip, which is three cards, or a quad, which is four cards, then the next person has to match that number of cards. Last card. Since it was her last card, it's automatically put into the discard pile. The purpose of the game is to be complete all of your cards first. The harder you make it for other people to discard, and the more that you can discard, the bigger advantage you have. If you finish first, you're called president. If you finish second, you're vice president. If you finish third, you're vice bum. And if you finish fourth, you're called bum. And there's two things that distinguish the first game of play in president and any subsequent game. So the person that comes in last, the bum, will now start instead of the three of spades. Also, based on what place you finished in, it determines how many cards you have to give up or gain. The president and the bum exchange cards. So when you're president, you have to give bum your two worst cards. Bum, they would give you their two best cards. And the vice president and the vice bum exchange cards. Vice president gets vice bum's best card just single best card, and gives Vice Bum their single worst card. So that's the game president. Quickly, a little bit of a demo of how to play it. Uh, it's using the rules that we've come to use when playing the game. I'm sure like many card games, there are variations to those rules. Would love to hear in the comments below any rules that you incorporate in this particular game or rules that you've heard of. As I mentioned earlier, it's a great game for the family. It plays pretty quickly. It's not based on skill. It purely is based on, you know, the hand you're dealt and the numbers that are played. 
uh, making it perfect for young members to old members. It is a great card game that the whole family can enjoy together. As always, you can find me here on Fridays talking about fun things to do with the family, such as playing a game of cards. But I'm also here talking family travel, books for kids, and other fun family stuff. So don't forget to subscribe so you know when the next video is published. Until next time, la ciao. <laughs> ciao. Ugh. <laughs>